life on the road, like if you're in sales and, you, and you're on the road a lot, like it's the easiest way to get fat ever. Eating out, fast food, on the go, it's the worst. But having your meals prepped, whether you prep them yourself or get them from a meal prep service, is crucial. You know what's going in your body. Like you, you know what, what it is. It's not Zaxby's like TJ just ate. This is grilled chicken, black beans, rice, Tastes all right, it's great. Shout out to Tropical Chicken Grill, my dude Lazaro. If you live in Greenville, you know. Fitness is probably one of the biggest areas that overlaps in all the others. Um, your energy level that confidence goes over into your, your your business, your career, your relationships. I mean, it's, it's absolutely, it's the foundation of everything. Uh, if you don't have your health, I can't tell you how many overweight salespeople there are out there. And I've been there, like that was me. Like I, I live on the road. I've been in those scenarios and, and this is how it starts, right? This is how it starts. It, it's, it's this, it's justifying, man, I crushed it today. I sold this many policies. I did this many deals. I you know, started all this stuff. So I'm gonna reward myself by eating garbage tonight. Not to just completely call out the out of shape people that are watching, but if you can't take care of your body, why am I gonna believe that you can take care of my money? Or why am I gonna believe that you can take care of whatever it is that you're saying that you're gonna do for me in a sales process or a customer service process or an entrepreneurial environment? If you can't take care of yourself, how are you gonna take care of anything else? It's crazy. Uh, I just, just uh, brought on somebody as an accountability partner uh, to help train with me um, because I'm trying to take my fitness to the next level. Um, and quite frankly, because I knew I needed to start working out in the morning, and this is a good lesson and a transparent lesson for you guys. Like, I am not, I have not been able to get myself to work, to get up in the morning and work out. I don't like the way I feel afterwards. Um, I sweat, my, when my metabolism starts running, I'll sweat for like three hours, and I hate taking a shower and getting out of the shower and being like still sweating. It's just, it's just annoying. Um, but I know that because now I've got a two-year-old daughter and the time after work that I'm able to spend with her and not at the gym is, is priceless. And so I know that I got to knock out my workouts in the morning. But I know myself well enough to know that I need to implement accountability in the areas that I know I need help with. And so um, my primary reason for having this accountability partner was the sole fact that they will be there at 6 a.m. looking at their watch and saying, where's Tyler? And I think for the longest time, I tried to outwork a bad diet for the longest time, like forever. I would work out hard enough to be able to eat whatever I wanted. And the final realization that it's just impossible. You cannot outwork a bad diet and it sucks, but, <laughs> but you can. And once things change in the kitchen, man, it was just like, game over. Um, not to say this is not still tough and it's not still a struggle. Yeah. Um, there's a reason why they say sugar is more addictive than cocaine. I believe it 100%. Um, but it's just, man, staying with it. So you have to make that transition. For me, that's prepping meals for the week when I am going to be on the road, knowing exactly what's going to go into my body by having it already prepared for me in a cooler. I can go heat it up, know exactly what I'm fueling my body with and not leaving it up to chance, which leads up to temptation and ultimately leads to making bad choices, uh, which is those bad meals that you, know that, that you know that you shouldn't eat. And then what good is it to become successful financially if you're struggling with your health and with your body? We understand this to a deep degree is the key to longevity and the key to ultimate success and fulfillment. So it's something that we take our agents through. And so the people that come on board uh, with our company um, over these next few months, which we know will be many of you that are watching this, we know that taking you through this process will be a life changing movement 